Okay, so in this problem we have to find the derivative of this function. Before we do it, it might be beneficial, um, just as a visual aid, to rewrite this a certain way. So secant cubed, this is shorthand for the following secant of pi t minus 4, and this, this whole thing is cubed, okay? So this is just shorthand for what's written below it here. All right, so now we can clearly see that we have to use the chain rule, right? Because we have something to a power. So let's go ahead and go through it very, very slowly. So f prime of t is equal to, so the 7 hangs out, and we use the power rule. We start by taking the derivative of the outside. So we bring down the 3, so 3 times 7 is 21. We leave the inside untouched. So secant of pi t minus 4, right? This is the chain rule. It's like the derivative of the outside. Leave the inside untouched. We subtract 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. Now times the derivative of the inside. So now we're focusing just on the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of secant is secant tangent. So we have secant of pi t minus 4 tangent of pi t minus 4 and then now we have to multiply it by the derivative of the inside again so times the derivative of the inside well the inside function is pi t minus 4 so the derivative of t is 1 the derivative of negative 4 is 0 so we're just left with pi here so times pi so multiple chain rules in this problem. Let's go over it one more time very carefully. I'll use a different color. So you bring down the 3. So 3 times 7 is 21. Check. Leave the inside untouched. Subtract 1. So it leaves us with a 2. And then times the derivative of the inside. So now we're focusing solely on the inside piece. So the derivative of secant is secant tangent. So we write it twice. Secant tangent and then again times the derivative of the inside and the derivative of pi t minus 4 is pi that's because the derivative of t is 1 so we just get pi and the derivative of negative 4 is 0 the last thing to do in this problem is maybe just clean it up just a little bit this is equal to so 21 pi let's put that in the front now here we have secant squared and here we have secant to the first power we put those together let's go back to our beautiful shorthand That'll give us secant cubed of pi t minus 4. I, I like this problem. <laughs> and then we're left with tangent of pi t minus 4. Kind of a fun problem, really. It's I, I hadn't done the problem until uh, right now. Yeah, I just thought, oh, this is an interesting one uh, because it's a nice application of the chain rule, right? It's like multiple chain rules. Just, just keep thinking about the inside. You're always aiming for the inside piece, right? You bring down that 3 leave the inside untouched, focus on the inside. Derivative, focus on the inside. When do you stop? When there's no inside left, right? There's nothing left here, so you can't keep going. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.